next session, may I please invite on stage Mr. Anil Sethi, Vice President and General Manager, Channels India, Dell Technologies, and Dr. Deepak Kumar Sahu. Let me introduce uh, about Mr. Anil Sethi. With an experience of over three decades in the IT industry, Anil has a propensity towards next generation technology innovations, the drive digital economy, and a commitment to exploring new market opportunities, benefiting partners and customers. Anil have been driving the organization's channel business growth for nearly six years, working with the teams to devise and implement unique GTA models. Anil also plays a key role in amplifying the channel partner ecosystem in the country while understanding the evolving market demands. Welcome, Anil. Hey, thanks, uh, thanks, Deepak. Thanks for inviting. And it's great to see that you are the first one who's doing this hybrid event. It would be good if we can have some people settle down. That would be nice. Yeah, I would right? request everyone to settle down. If it would be great, people, they could uh, silence their voice a little bit. It would be great. Welcome. But yeah, I think you are the first one to start with this and uh, do a hybrid, uh, hybrid uh, conference, uh, said to say so. So I think this is very heartening and uh, IT industry has been looking forward to that. Uh, so very good. Congratulations. Look forward Thank you, to the Anil. chat. Thank you, Anil. So there's a first question to you. Yeah. So we are meeting after a long time. In the last few months, our country and the IT industry have witnessed a lot of changes. A lot of change has been spoken about digital transformation and about how we are riding this wave of transformation. In that context, my question to you is, has this transformation and the pace really impacted or influenced the business for the benefit of our audience? How would you describe this impact? Technologies. What we saw and when we, we, we continuously use this word about transformation that has really happened and it's true first of all. First of all, it's true, but what's, what's brought this change is the biggest adoption uh, that uh, Indian uh, population, Indian, Indians, di Indians, uh, uh, Indians showed it or displayed it for, uh, and uh, you know, adopting the IT. So I think that was, that was a, one of the biggest thing. And uh, that has changed the completely the landscape of the market. I mean, the way we all people, every single one of us today deal with and uh, whether it's our uh, children or ourselves or our traders, shopkeepers, businessmen, every single person I think is uh, there you, that phobia of using an IT or doing something is completely gone. So that's what is transformation actually. Absolutely. And that's what has led to everybody adopting more technology and trying to use it and they've got comfortable with it. So I think that's one biggest change which happened and I mean it ha definitely has a lot of cascading impacts which are good ones. I mean, in the business, the business saw a tremendous, tremendous growth. Uh, every single segment has benefited, right? Started from, I mean, the government has played a bigger role, by the way, in adopting uh, and pushing uh, this transformation. Uh, BFSI, which is anyway heavily, heavily dependent on that. We look at FinTech and BFSI, I'll put it both together there. So it's a heavily compliant uh, industry segment. So big dependence on that, telecom. The third one, I mean, it has been always there, but it has more become. Uh, or you look at retail is uh, another one. So every single segment, I can't think of anyone which has not got kind of, uh, you know, can't, hasn't taken the benefit or hasn't adopted this. So uh, we saw a huge transformation and that has resulted into every single business growing. Not, I think, uh, definitely OEMs like us and Lord, all other OEMs in IT industry. Uh, not just Dell, I think everybody did very well and uh, everybody has done very, very well and that's uh, thanks to the customers over there because of their adoption. So that's how I say they adopted, so we were there and that has led to the uh, incremental business and a big business for everyone. So I think this is uh, uh, one thing is going to continue and uh, you know there's always a time which comes uh, where uh, when the change which we are trying to push. And there's a time come when suddenly everything changes. And I think that was the last two, three quarters we saw that. And, uh, and we're going to live with a new world. Wonderful, wonderful. If I can summarize in one sentence, it's a new, uh, new way of doing business and getting business. Absolutely. One way of summarizing the statement. Absolutely. Okay, we'll move on to the second question. Yeah. That is great to hear insights coming from an industry veteran such as yourself. 
Now is your position you have witnessed the business growth first hand and probably with a more closer view than most of us present here. Can you shed some lights about how the partners have grown during these times, how they have benefited this wave of transformation and how they can continue to benefit with this wave? So I think like, I mean it very well connects with my earlier answer. So if everybody saw growth, so so did and this whole execution of this business happened through our partners. I, I am sure a lot of people are sitting in this room, they would uh, talk about that. But uh, people whom we talk and uh, our partners are there, people, uh, the partners who are interacting with us, dealing with us, every single partner organization has seen a humongous growth. Uh, now there could be uh, different, different places, there could be some partners in the different uh, businesses of an IT. <laughs> Uh, depends on what percentage, but everybody has seen a definitely a double uh, digit growth over there and uh, great it has added to the bottom line pretty well. Uh, this has been uh, this has been possible because of you know I think I was talking to someone and he was said you know what all that years I have been in IT industry it's paid off. So and 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 it has it was a little bit getting tougher in uh, in in, in twenty nineteen. I think it just kind of boosted the whole thing. And there's a huge confidence boost which has happened for the partners and uh, also the organizations has uh, transformed in a big way. Other than the business that has benefited that has been there for each one of them and they did well. But uh, I think there, there, is a, uh, there, is a, there is a lot of uh, new skills acquired by the organization, new talent uh, which is uh, being acquired by these organizations as talent remains a holy grail of technology industry. So that has been there and uh, they, are, they are really upbeat about it and uh, I am sure you are hearing the same. It's true, you are absolutely right. Like uh, someone was telling, earlier they have to partners and OEMs are running for the business. Now yeah. they have the business, it's yeah. time to deliver. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, so I was telling that you know we, are, uh, we, we saw this change that we are from buyers to sellers market we became. Yes. So yeah, that's true. And our, there is another strong statement towards I was hearing from the channel partner is amazing. If channel partner could not made some good business during these days, usme kuch to khoti hai. <laughs> <laughs> it means that everyone they have done a good yes, business. Absolutely. So moving to the last question, a lot has been spoken about emerging technologies and everyone is talking about changes in customers buying behavior. Mm -hmm. What is Dell's take on it? What is Dell doing and planning to do to stay relevant and to stay on this path of growth? So I think, uh, 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 let me just first say that you know all that has been going around and all the partners that who has been, uh, who has been contributing and helping us in the business, first of all big thanks to them. Huge thanks to them and that comes as a reflection and it, it shows up in our quarter uh, three results which just got announced 48 hours back. And the global results are like phenomenal. We, it's a record quarter for Dell history. Wow. So, you know, we are on the Can track. you have a clap for the Dell? Yeah. So, thank you. Thank you very much. And they are, we are at a trajectory of an hundred billion dollars now. And uh, it's clearly, clearly looks, uh, you know, it's possible. So, all big support to the, uh, big thanks to the partner. The business saw a huge growth on 21 percent globally on the revenue side. And, uh, uh, client commercial grew almost like 40 percent. Now these are on the big, big base, huh, by the way. I mean, I'm talking big base numbers. I'm talking global numbers. So this is phenomenal. In India, channel business grew at uh, upwards of 70 percent. So this has been uh, last quarter. So it has been great. I mean, uh, I can't thank partners more. And uh, business for us is completely uh, in for uh, in, in Dell in India has been completely changed and. Uh, partners contribution has been humongous and we are like super thankful to that and that reflects it into the shares we call it triple one I mean because we are today happen I mean we see a client business uh, which is a PC business we are number one in commercial and with the 34 percent uh, market share 34.7 server is 36 and again number one storage is number one so all triple triple one we call it internally. So I think thanks to everybody and that has been there. Now talking about how are we uh, looking at very quickly, I think we continuously are big time investing. So 
our R and D uh, budget is uh, extremely big. It runs in billions, and a uh, uh, couple of things which we are doing is, you know, we are heavily focused on edge computing as a new technology. All uh, 5G, uh, artificial intelligence, AI, ML, uh, hybrid cloud. These are the areas where we are investing. Um, third is that we are invest. We are. We are. You will be soon hearing about is the you know service on demand. Uh, so everything would be a service in Dell, and that is called Apex, mm -hmm. and that's what you will be seeing. So Apex uh, uh, services, so where every single infrastructure would be sold as a service. So that's a new offering. It's already in social media, and announcements have been made in India. It's going to be launched soon in next quarter, and uh, but in many of the countries, it's been already there. Um, we are co-engineering some solutions with VMware, so that's what we are trying to do. So we, we and edge computing, which happens to be our area where we are going to stay invested. So these are some of the new areas which we are going to be there. We are definitely going to be up over there in the ladder to see that we you know all that new technologies which are there, we are able to deliver it to our customers. Okay. Finally, if I can ask, what is the hottest thing with Dell right now? What you would say? The hottest thing at Dell is uh, Apex. Apex is going to change the world, change the way uh, it's a new consumption model, the change the way the customer consumes IT, the change the way the partner sells IT, everything is going to change in the next six months. So you're going to wait and watch and I would encourage each and every partner who's interested should come and understand this because this is going to help them, a country which is, uh, you know, uh, which, is, uh, which, is, which, is, which has a heavy capital cost, and is always uh, capital hungry. It will help big time every partner and customer to come and adopt different ways uh, of IT and consume the IT in a different way um, that customer wants. So it's all about customer. So there are various uh, ways to do that, and uh, it is all a service. So which takes away from capex to opex, and you don't have to make any capital investment. So in brief, it's that I can talk more about that. But that's the hottest thing. Thank you, Anil, Thank you. for sharing your wonderful you input. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.